my first recollection of clay is when I was a little pup, like probably less than five years old. I can remember being in back of uh, back of our neighbor's garage and they had clay. And so I'd make mud balls and I'd throw them against the garage, you know. And, and I, here I was across the street, just a little five-year-old kid all by myself in the back of somebody's garage. Thing, you know, the neighbors heard the boom, you know, the pounding. Brian, go back home, you know, and uh, play where I was just enamored with the making the ball a perfect sphere, you know, and then, and then whipping it, letting it dry a little bit and whipping it against the, the uh, wall and watching it explode. <laughs> influenced by the Mingay philosophy where uh, you know you create pots that are pleasing to use at an affordable price and it's really important to me to, to keep them affordable. Yeah, it's interesting with pottery there, there's just so many potters. I think it's a great thing you know I think we all learn from each other and it really evolves. You know what Mackenzie brought to America after you know, visiting the Leech Pottery and, and learning the utilitarian method, you know, the Mingay philosophy. I thought that, I think that that's really great. Now with, with Instagram and Facebook, it's insane. But I just think it's really wonderful because I think the pottery is improving. More people are using hand-thrown pottery now. I think that, you know, giving people uh, access to using hand-thrown pottery not everybody has access to it when the prices are so high. But when the prices are low and you've got a lot out there and, and uh, it gives people the enjoyment, you know, uh, just the common folk, the enjoyment of using pottery. <laughs>